Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another hoot. We're at Israel Barnal Kim number four. We're gonna ring the nestlings. Let's get to it. So there we have a lot of work. Um, we're gonna ring um, the nestlings, measure and weigh them, and clean the box, clean the cameras, uh, hopefully maybe fix the porch. So check check the data, everything everything okay with the data logger. So lots of work to do today. This is Israel Cam number four. So Amir has the nestlings. He has this very nice golf cart that he cruises around with. And each nestling will get a ring. That's an identification number. It has a specific number for each nestling. That goes on the right leg. And on the left leg, he puts a plastic ring that has that little chip, the RFID chip. That's basically a pit tag. It's uh, very similar to the chip that your dog gets for rabies. Puts a little bit of uh, super glue there. And then after he takes uh, a weight and a wing length, each nesting will receive the same treatment. And that's it. It's very, very um, quick treatment here. Nothing fancy. Here he goes. He takes a weight. That's 395 minus 22 grams as a bag. Wing length. Now it's going to take the wing length. Two hundred and five millimeters, that is. This is our FID chip. He's reading it. And he writes that down. We also download the data, but so we have it twice backed up. So that's an individual number, that chip. So when it enters in and out of the uh, tunnel, it gets read twice. There's two antennas there. Why do we have two antennas? Because then you can know direction. If there's only one, you know the bird is there. But if there's two, you can know if it's entering and exiting the box. So it provides a lot of extra information. So these nestlings, weight-wise, are very healthy, all eight of them. Um, so in the past, all of our boxes, we haven't had larger broods. And the reason why is that we would come here and we'd only put the cameras on later broods because the first broods, when we'd come, they already are, already had large nestlings. But because of this box had a camera in advance, then you get to see a larger brood. These larger broods are actually very common. Uh, a brood of eight is, a, is quite a common brood. It's nothing rare at all. It's still obviously amazing that they're able to raise so many nestlings, but they're able to do this because there's enough rodents, and not only rodents, but specific rodents, mainly mice and voles, which are small enough that the smaller nestlings are able to swallow them. Uh, and being that the smaller ones are able to swallow them, they're able to, to compete with the larger siblings. Uh, and if you watch the box at nighttime, the larger siblings get enough food 
that uh, it's quite amazing. There's even a, uh, a clip of last week that one of the larger siblings fed one of the younger siblings, which is quite um, unusual but known. And, he, and you can tell he's actually definitely feeding the younger sibling because the call the, the, the nestling is using is the same call the mother does when she feeds her nestling. So uh, some people are like, no, it didn't purposely feed the nestling, but it 100% uh, did feed its younger nestling. There was a, a couple articles from Switzerland on this topic, and they say that sometimes the um, young, um, older nestlings feed the younger ones, and then in return they get their feathers preened and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much is, that's true. Uh, it could be they're also practicing, and in, in, uh, uh, could be that um, in the end of the day when there's enough food that their siblings survive, it's also good for them because genetically they're very similar. Uh, but these are things, the more that you study, the more you know. And the more cameras we have, the more you get to see, too. So if, it, if somebody didn't see that observation of the nestling feeding its sibling, uh, we would have never saw that. And that's why you, the, the viewers, are the ones that help provide us this information, watching these cameras 24-7 uh, and writing timestamps in, in comments and in, in the chat. It's uh, very helpful for, to us. So some of you are saying, why am I not doing this? Well, simply because if I'm with Amir, Amir's a much better looking g guy than me. So, uh, you know, it's in YouTube, the, the beauty sells. So I figured let Mayor do the work and I'll be the photographer and behind the camera and let his beautiful face do all the talking. Amir used to have long, nice hair, no beard, no glasses. And then he took my look. He took the, the bald head, the glasses, and the beard, and he took it and he made his own. So watching us uh, ring and, and measure and weigh the nestlings is not that uh, uh, entertaining as other people. And the reason why is we, tend, we try to keep the nestlings in the bag and we don't take them out because they're a lot less stressed while in the bags. So if you go to bird ringing, bird banding, a lot of times they take the birds out and they show people and even let people hold the birds, but we try to keep the disturbance to a minimum. We love these owls. We've been working with them for years. Uh, and that's why we keep them in the bag. In the bag, it's dark, quiet, other than me now talking. Uh, so that's why we do that. So this is inside the box. Uh, believe it or not, it's actually not that dirty as we say every year we clean the box at least once i think last year we cleaned it twice there's a camera that's what it looks like from the inside everybody can see me also on my hand so this is the box dirty and we're going to clean it out soon camera sits here in the back what we do is we add these extra boxes here so um, the camera is sits a little bit further back and you get a little bit better view but in general these boxes are not large I mean this is not a box that we made for for a camera this is a box that we use or farmers use for pest control um, which is large enough to raise 11 nestlings but for a camera, if we were to make a box specifically for camera and make it a little bit larger, so it could provide a little bit better view. So Amir is cleaning the box. It's definitely not the most fun part of the job. It's important. We try to do it once a year, clean the boxes. And we do it uh, uh, after we ring the nestlings. And we do this mainly to come the boxes the least amount we can. And yes, if anybody wanted to know, it does smell. So we try to do as much as we can during this visit, and now he's cleaning the lens of the camera, the internal camera, which gets a lot of uh, dust and debris on it. So now Mir is strengthening the porch with the RFID readers on it. Just want to make sure it's very strong. So finally, Amir is putting the nestlings back. Overall, the box is in uh, very good shape considering the heat, the elements here. You know, it doesn't rain a lot, but it rains uh, enough. Um, 
everything is working. So he's gonna put the nestlings back. The nestlings are very healthy. Hopefully they'll survive the fledge. I mean, currently it looks like that's the case, that hopefully the all eight will reach that fledgling age and fly. Um, and then they have to survive when they go out of the box. So he's Mir's gently putting them back, clean the outside camera, and then we'll leave these poor little guys alone. Last but not least, Amir's cleaning the external camera, the one that provides you that nice outside view of the nest box. So I really hope you liked this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for everybody for their help. The moderators, obviously, without them, this channel wouldn't be the way where it is right now. Hopefully, we're going to reach 100,000 subscribers soon. Thank you again. Keep on watching. Hoochie later.